Now I've never had a problem taking these apart, but these have been in store such a long time. Now the one problem you'll have when you're doing a 375 that I've found is it's almost impossible to get these screws out. They're hard steel screws and it's an alloy body and they get stuck in there and they will not come out. Now I've got a, a quite a large screwdriver and I've tried to get them out like this and they won't move. Now strangely enough the ones on the bottom always seem to come out. You see look that one comes out easily no problem on that side but always the ones on the top will not move. Now I've tried that and I've tried an even longer screwdriver about two foot long on them and they will not budge. I've tried tapping them, my usual method is to clout the end of the screwdriver you know and jar the threads and I've tried that umpteen times it still doesn't work. I've put plus gas penetrating oil down them and left it for a day or so still no luck. Unless you're very lucky and yours have been stored properly or it's been taken apart regularly you may find that's a problem that's why I'm explaining it so what I'm going to do I'm going to explain to you how I've tried to address this as you can see oh by the way before I do um, this one's very tight the handle and it's staying down but you will find with these one thing that's annoying when you try and pop the handle down it's got a you see it'll fly back up and it's got a hefty spring in there my advice is don't try taking that off because they're a fiddle to get back on again but it is annoying when you're trying to undo these bolts because the two at the at the top are behind the handle you've got to hold this handle down whilst you're trying to undo them which is a fiddle so what I do I get a piece of wire like this I just wrap the wire around and it holds the handle down out of the way so you can access these screws without this bobbing up and down all the time it does make it easier this particular screw here, this is one of the worst to get out. It's on the top, which are the ones that seem to jam up for some reason. But not only that, as you can see, it's got a, a sort of a, a, a slight dome head on the surface. And what it means is you don't have a nice strong slot in it like this bolt to get your screwdriver in. So it's more likely that when you try and undo it, the screwdriver is going to slip on the, on the head of the bolt and damage it anyway. Sometimes a few sharp taps on the end of a bolt will loosen it up. And now, if you cannot get that bolt out at all, and, and, and you want to do what I've done and drill it, the, the easiest way, get yourself a big file like this, and then care, get that in there, being careful not to damage the actual bodywork, and just file the top head off there. You get down so far and it will just pull straight off. So you've still got the bolt jammed in there, but sometimes if you do that, you can get your mole grips on and extract it, or you can do my method of drilling it. On this particular one, I've got the front off, but as you can see, what's happened is, the bolts, the two bottom ones come out as I mentioned, but the top two, that one snapped off leaving a stub of a, a bolt there, and that one snapped off flush. And, and it's very difficult now to get those out because you've got soft aluminium and a hard steel bolt. Would it be the other way around? It would be easy if this was steel, the body, and the bolt was alloy, it would be a simple job, wouldn't it? But because it's the other way around, it's difficult. Now, there's two ways you can get it out, and the one won't work on this one, I don't think. If you've got to this stage, and the bolt snaps off, and it leaves a stub end of a bolt in there, and you're very lucky, you might be able to get it out with a pair of mole grips. That's about the only thing. If you've got enough of the bolt, and you can grip it tightly with the mole grips, you can sometimes jog it loose by moving it this way and that way until it comes loose and get that stuff out, but it's very unlikely. Before you do that, get a little hammer and just tap it a little bit to try and jar the threads through. So in this case, I don't think I'm going to have much luck because this one looks as though there's very little showing. So I'm just going to pop the mole grips on there, lock them tightly and turn. Now, it has, it's not going to come out, folks, that one. So it's going to be plan B, I'm afraid. Now, the only way you can get this address this problem now is as far as I can see unless somebody knows better is to drill it my advice is to get a small file or something and file the bolt down and so you've got a nice flat surface to work with if you've had a ragged edge you'll have a job to do it the next thing you've got to do is don't try drilling it centre punch it first to put a little mark in it so you can drill it just pop this on and get your hammer 
You've got to make a, a mark so the drill will start, otherwise it will go all over the place. Don't try drilling it with a great big drill like this. Use a small drill and gradually work upwards. Now when you start drilling, do it gently to start with, don't go mad at it. Keep checking it. Try to keep the drill central, put a bit of oil on. It's just a tricky job really doing this. That's it. Now I've gone right through the bottom of the bolt now. So now you've got the hole drilled through the bolt and it's fairly central, you could try using one of these. These are thread or bolt extractors, but you've got to be very careful because what you don't want to do if you pop this in, the idea is that the, the thread on this is the opposite way around and you, as you screw it in, it, it's supposed to unscrew the bolt. The problem is, you, if you're not careful, you'll find this will snap off and you'll get that jammed in there and that is really hard and you'll have a job to drill that. So I'm just going to give it a quick try, but I don't hold out much hope. Now you see it's going in and it's tightening up, but I can't see the bolt moving. My worry is that because it's a, a very small bolt, when you screw this in, it tends to tight, expand the outside of the bolt and makes it even tighter and makes it more difficult to get out. If you've got a, a broad bolt, it's not so bad. A wider bolt, it's not, it's not going to come out. So, so far I've not had any success using the thread extractor, so I'm going to give that job up. I'm going to have to drill the hole out uh, a bit more, make a large hole, and then I'm going to use this uh, tap here and tap a new thread in it. Now I know it's 3 16th Whitworth, so I know the size and I've got a 3 16th Whitworth tap so I'm going to have to re-tap it and it's not going to be easy. What I'm going to have to do is drill that hole out just a shade bigger first to get the tap in. Easy staging. Right, now I've done that, I'm now going to try the tap in it. It's alloy so it's not very hard. When you do this, don't rush into it like a bullet a china shop. Go in a little way and then undo it and come back out again. Don't try doing it in one big operation. Make sure you put some oil around the, around the tap as you're doing it. And the secret is to turn the thing in a bit and when it starts biting, don't keep rushing in, turn it back a few turns and keep coming backwards and forwards like this to try and clear out the rubbish. And gradually, with a bit of patience, you can get most of the old steel bolt out and create a nice new thread for the bolt. Right, there's the bolt, we'll see what happens. There you go, look. Nothing wrong with that, folks, at all. See, folks? The impossible I do at once, miracles take a little longer, as they say. So there's one done. Now, to do the one on the other side with the bolt sticking up, basically, all you've got to do, really, don't try drilling it like that. File down the, the head, the, what's showing, till it's flush with the surface here, and then drill it like I did this one. Don't try drilling it with a stub sticking out, because the drill will go all over the place and it won't work. Anyway, you get the idea of it, folks. Um, you can, it is possible to drill the bolt out, and uh, the, these are the correct bolts. If you don't have any replacement bolts, you can just use an ordinary three-quarter inch Whitworth uh, bolt, which will do the same job just as well. If you're absolutely desperate and you just can't manage to do this, but you can get the bolts out but they snap off and you can't drill it, what you could do, you could carefully drill another hole in the Bakelite a short distance away from the originals and you've got room either side of that bolt, you could actually drill another hole through the Bakelite into there, drill a hole in there and tap it and put, put another bolt in. Now obviously it's not going to be the exactly correct, um, but you won't really notice it because when the handle's up it hides all that anyway. And it's better than throwing the thing away, isn't it? I mean, sometimes it's a case you've got to do what you can to get it going again. As you can see, the handle covers the, the entrance to the, the where the bolt is anyway. You could drill another hole adjacent to it and tap it and put your bolt in. You can actually fill that hole with some, some glass fibre type filler or something, or some of that stuff you use on car bodies. Just fill it and then carefully put some black paint over it so it's not visible. Uh, just clean it all up and that, and you won't even notice that it was when you could do was one both sides if you get that problem. I know it's a bit extreme, but it, it's it's one way around it. There's always a way you can do these things, folks. If you can't get the screws out, and you're a bit dubious about doing what I've done, drilling them out and things, because it is a fiddly job to do, my advice would be don't take it apart unless you have to. 
If the bearings are worn out or need greasing, it's very noisy or there's something wrong or the fan needs replacing or doing something to, then you've got no option. But if the machine works fine, you can change the carbon brushes as I've shown without taking it apart. Just leave it alone. Don't take it apart unless you have to. Because it's better to leave it as it is and put up with it than to wreck it by taking the, breaking the bolts off if you can't fix it, isn't it? So, you know, that's my advice. Leave it alone if it's working. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to take the motor apart and how to grease the bearings and other hints and tips on maintenance. That is if you manage to stay awake so far. So anybody who's awake, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now, folks. Bye-bye.